Morning folks, uh, this is a uh, £200 weight uh, Saunders Waterford Cold Trust. Uh, I inherited a couple of packs of lovely Saunders Waterford and Buckingford from my friend Dennis, Dennis Eves, and loads and loads of watercolour. But today, again, I'm going to have a go at using a limited palette of acrylics uh, as watercolour. Now, acrylic, I have to put my pinafore on my, my, uh, as somebody asked me on Patreon uh, about uh, methylated spirits, aka uh, denatured al alcohol. Um, if, if you get a critic on your jeans, as I often do, you can remove it more or less with uh, the alcohol, the methylated spirits. It's a solvent, but when the acrylics dry, of course, nothing will shift it. I've got stains on my jeans going back several years. But if anybody mentions it, I think, well, they're clean, they're just stained. So be very careful, cover your knees up and anything else that you might be tempted to go near. Uh, right, okay, so let's, uh, uh, this will buck a little bit, give me a hake, give it a nice wet. Now because I'm using this palette, this is a stay wet palette, I, I put the, uh, this in a state in a, with a lid on yesterday and it, the paint's still workable whereas if you if you just leave it out to air dry it will dry very quickly so here we are I'm not, I don't know what I'm going to do probably a, either a snow scene or a uh, if I move that over a bit I can move the palette a little bit the trouble is it's got the uh, clips right in the way of where I want to get the colour. So you can see a bit of the uh, bit of the palette. Can't do any better, that's as good as it's going to get. So we'll put in a nice bit of red and yellow with a nice sort of orangey colour. Have a bit of a maybe we will have a snow scene. If I turn this on its oh, let's move the brushes, otherwise they all lit up on the floor. Can I just this is a bit tricky. Uh, right, I suspend the palette a bit. Clean the brush and we want some nice paint grey and some ultramarine and a bit of that red so, so you can get some lovely effects with this quality paper I'm using a bit of red with the the ultramarine and Payne's Grey just to get a nice warm Put it in the sky. Now, when this dries, it's permanent. Unlike watercolour, not a lot of room between this try to show you as well. Oh. 
Right, okay. Turn that round and we'll see what that does. Bit of, bit of a blue, bit of blue in there. Now this will all bleed and then all of a sudden it'll stop. It goes so far, acrylic, as watercolour. I've got a little bit of red in there, I think. Okay, right now, the paper oops, has expanded, so it's pretty tight, so even a 200 pound weight paper expands, so just reclip it, so it goes completely flat, and I'll uh, so I'll put in a bit of bit of background that's catching a bit of snow. Just changed my hake. Harke. Been wanting to be been dancing about it. And hairs, pull out hairs, don't leave them on the paint, otherwise they will make a mark. Oh, just a bit of trees on the horizon. And I'll uh, just give it a little bit of shadowy colour. Right now, if I dry this, dry the brush, I can just keep that bit, just stop that uh, bleeding, go underlace a little bit, just to put a bit of character in the lie of the land. See how the sky is drying out. Okay, just take off any excess. Now we want to dry it so we can go in with the uh, with the texture. My right, headphones off. Okay, that will do. I'll uh, carry on with this medium hake. Hake, half hake. Does it really matter? I don't think Ron Manson ever called it a, a half hake. So I won't. So I get the old hake, pull out any hairs. 
and then we can start to bit of bit of texturing, bit of a winter tree. So I've got a very limited palette here. I've only got the cadmium red, ultramarine, paint grey, and cad yellow, medium, and a dash of white. So let's see if we can make a bit of a. Let's uh, it's all about lightness of touch and the right amount of water on a brush. If it's too wet, it won't dry brush. And this is not a particularly rough paper, well, because it's a uh, cold press. I'll put some filigree in there. Add some trunks. Add a bit of red. Put some texture in. Here and there. Uh, let's go again. Okay, I'll add some uh, some bits of uh, snow in there. Oh, that's a Snow on a field. When this dries, which it will quite quickly, you can paint over it and it won't lift. I want a darker green now. Just, look, just gently dry brushing. We don't want to overclutter it. Amazing what you can do with one brush in there. Three primaries, red, yellow, and blue. You get a nice range of greens. Get a bit dark in there. 
It's a bit of shadowy colour. Okay, let's uh, dry that, clean the ink, and then I can go put some snow in. Right, we've done the, uh, the wetty wet watercolour bit, there it is, and now we're thickening up and, and doing the acrylic bit. So let's get a bit of white and that blue, touch of, touch of red, and Bit more water. I'm sort of going for a little tiny mauvey bit, but I just want a little bit of that red, a bit of that blue. Bit. So that gives you the uh, too much water. Shadow snow here. Okay, now that sort of establishes the, the shape of some of the ground. You don't have to use a, a large brush, you can use your, your round brushes. Let's get a rigger. Oh, that's a rigger. Right, I'll put a bit of a bit of dark in here. Huh. Right now we're going with a little bit of white.
See that stage, lovely and moist. Right, I'm going to use this brush now. I just want to get some more of that. It's a bluey white. Okay, well let's put that in a bounce and see what it looks like. We've got a bit of tape. Comes of course to another. Yeah, the one. I don't know how you're coping with lockdown, but uh, oops. But apart from all this, we're doing jigsaw puzzles. They're beautiful, they're real time wasters, but it's giving me a real stiff neck standing with my neck bent over, craning over all the little bits, see if they fit somewhere. Uh, well, let's uh, give that a signature. Okay, so we've got a very simple acrylic as watercolour, wet in wet, which is more or less uncluttered. The tree's a little bit heavy. Uh, put the mounts on it. So you start with the wet, dry it off, then you carry on with the acrylic. As thick as thin as you like. So there we are. So I hope you like that one folks. I wonder what it looks like with the brown, with the blue, the blue mount, the old blue mount. Oh this one, I've got a double mount here, that's too big. Where is it? Where has it gone? So I haven't got it anymore. Oh. Well that. That uh, leads to uh, Together, right? Okay. That's a better colour, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, there we go. Right, I'll see you soon. Thanks for looking in. Bye bye.